Hey Google, how many likes does my latest tweet have? You have zero likes. Wait, you now have one like. You can make EY stream this happy by following him on Twitter and Instagram. Please follow me, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? EY stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you five secret things that you didn't know you can make in your very own Minecraft world in the brand new update. And here is the best part. There are no mods or atoms, and that is right guys, 100% vanilla Minecraft, which means this will work for anything you guys play on, whether that is an iPhone, iPad, Android, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, or even PC, guys, you will be able to get these insane builds for yourself, and insane they are. We're talking about a smoking, like an actually smoking oven design, a grandfather clock, a Korean barbecue workstation, a birdhouse design, and my personal favorite, one of those old school film cameras that they used to have in cinemas, guys. Today's episode is going to be insane. So if you are excited, leave a like down below. We're going for 5,000 likes. And I'm actually really sick today, guys. And I'm doing this video because I love you. So I'd really appreciate if you shared some of that love back to me by leaving a like. And of course, guys, if you are new channel, as always, make sure to slap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload. That way, you will get the coolest builds before any of your friends do. And they'll all be super jealous because they'll be like, how did you make that? And you can be like, well, I watch EY stream. But without further ado, guys, it is time to move on to build number one. So, you know how I said that you can make these in the new Minecraft update. Well, I made sure to incorporate the new blocks into every single build in today's video. So these are all never before seen. Now for build number one, guys, we're going to need the brand new barrel block. Then we're going to need the brand new campfire block. Oh, look at me go, guys. Then another brand new block. We're going to need the lectern block. And finally, guys, we're going to need the blast furnace. Look at me go. I've got so many brand new blocks. Now, for an old kind of blocks, they're, they're old-ish. They're still pretty new, guys. We're going to use some stripped spruce logs, some stripped birch logs. Uh, we, ooh, maybe we should... I actually hadn't decided this earlier, but we're going to use some dried kelp block. And um, we'll go with some spruce trapdoors as well. So that is everything you guys are going to need for our smoking oven design. Now, to build this, guys, we're going to place two barrels on their side, then place two blast furnaces and two more barrels. And this is going to be our kitchen shelf. Not only does it look good, but it functions as well as barrels can hold things in them. Then we're going to build a wall, and you want to do it five blocks high with your stripped spruce logs. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five... Oop, five, and then we're gonna go ahead, bop, 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 and bop, 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 and we are done. I accidentally built that a little high there, guys. So that is our wall, and then we're going to line the top of it here with barrels as well, because look, these things just look so good. You can use them for tables, you can use them as lining for walls. They just look great anywhere. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is place some uh, stripped birch log in the two center blocks here above the wall, lining up with our blast furnaces. Then you wanna place two more blocks facing outward like that, and then place two more underneath facing downwards. Then we're going to grab our lectern block, and what you wanna do is walk up to this wall, look up, then turn around. It's really important you turn around here, guys, and place your two lecterns. And what that's going to do is face the lecterns backwards, making them kind of look like that thing you see above ovens. I think it's called the exhaust, and all the smoke goes up into an end. Look, these things, honestly, we should just rename them to exhaust pipes because they look so much like that, and it looks like the smoke will go into them and then go up these pipes and into the back of the wall. And you guys can expand on that design there. Then we're also going to use our spruce trapdoors and place two here, just as a little shelf where you can put all types of foods, pots, plates, whatever you want. But at the moment, guys, it's kind of boring. Like this is just a mediocre build to really take it to the next level. What you guys want to do is break the two blocks underneath our blast furnaces and place two campfires. Then check this out, guys. We have an actually smoking oven set. It looks as if you're actually cooking food in the blast furnaces and then the smoke is then going up into the exhaust and going up through the pipe if that doesn't look cool guys i don't know what will impress you because i think this will look great in any kitchen build or like this would really look great in like a mountainside or a warm cozy house now to add to this design guys because we used a lot of dark colors there is a really awesome block known as the dried kelp block which just looks great as a flooring guys now originally when my friend told me you should use dried kelp as floor i was like what that's gross why would i ever use something that came out of the ocean for the floor. But actually, he was right. This thing looks beautiful. So we're just gonna fill the floor in here. Now you may notice I've made the floor a little bit bigger than it needs to be. And that's because at the moment, 
Well, we have this great oven set, but we have nowhere to eat the food. So that is what we're going to be building for build number two. Now, in order to eat our yummy, yummy food, we are going to need a table or more specifically, in this case, a Korean barbecue workstation. So for this, guys, we're going to need some lecterns. You're going to need to grab yourself uh, some smokers. Ooh, wonder what those are for. We'll also need some gray carpet and finally uh, some spruce wood slabs and to top it all off, some jungle trapdoors. That's everything you guys are going to need for this build. Then what we're going to do, guys, is right above our kelp dry block as the floor because let's be honest, this looks really great and this table will fit perfectly with it. We're going to place a lectern like this. You want to leave a space and place another lectern. Then you want to jump on the other side and place two more lecterns facing inwards and these are going to act as the legs of our table. Then we're going to place two smokers in the center here and on top of our lecterns, we're going to place the gray carpet like so. And this creates a really awesome table design because you get these lecterns that look like table legs and then you have these smokers in the center as the Korean barbecue workstation. Now, for those of you who don't know what Korean barbecue is, basically it's a table, but it has like little pans on it where you can cook your own food. So that's what these smokers are supposed to look like. And then the space in the middle is where you keep all your sauces and meats and stuff like that. So I think it works perfectly with this build. Then for the chairs, guys, right uh, next to our lecterns, we're going to place a spruce wood slab on all sides. And finally, we're going to place jungle trapdoors and pull these all up on each side. And voila, guys, check that out, guys. We have our very own Korean barbecue workstation. As you guys can see, it works perfect with the colors with this oven set and the dried kelp block. But that is build number two, guys. Time to move on to build number three. Now for build number three, you guys are going to need some spruce wood planks, some item frames, a clock. Ooh, wonder what this is for. Huh. We're also going to need some lecterns and the brand new bell block. Look at me go, guys. I'm using so many new blocks. We're also going to need some dark oak doors and finally some dark oak trap doors. Now this design is an awesome looking grandfather clock. Now people have been trying to build this for years, but now that we actually have a bell, it makes a lot more sense. What you want to do is choose where you want to place your grandfather clock, then place the bell directly above the ground. Then you want to stand on top of the bell and place dark oak doors on either side like so, only leaving the front open. Directly above the bell, guys, what you want to do is jump here facing towards where the space is, where there is no door, and place a, place a lectern. No, I don't want to ring the bell. Let me place a lectern on top. There we go. You want to go ahead and place a lectern on top so it is also facing backwards, kind of similar to how we did it for the exhaust pipe there. Then directly above the lectern, you guys want to place some spruce wood planks. You want to place an item frame and you want to place a clock. At the moment, it already looks pretty cool. But to really add to the detail, guys, we're going to cover all the sides of the spruce wood planks here with dark oak trapdoors and also the top. And there you go, guys. A very simple but very elegant grandfather clock design, which will look great in pretty much any home, anywhere, anyhow. It just looks really sophisticated, guys. You've got your clock and then you've got the bell that rings down there. It just looks fantastic. But that is build number three, guys. Moving on to build number four, which is my favorite build for today's video. All right, so build number four is that really awesome camera design I've been talking about. Now, this is quite a big build, so we're going to do it in two phases. If you missed something, guys, I'm going to move quite quickly. Make sure to go ahead, rewind the video, and rewatch if you want this in your own world. But for phase one, the actual camera, guys, what you're going to need is you're going to need a piston. Ooh, wonder what that's for. We're also going to need a block of redstone. Then you're going to need two blocks of coal. We're going to use, you know what? We're going to use a spruce fence gate. We're going to use the brand new grindstone blocks. Haven't used those all video. And then we're also going to need some buttons and a wither skeleton skull. So this is everything we need for the camera design itself. Then what you want to do, guys, is choose where you want to place the camera. We're just going to place it right here. And you want to dig down two blocks like so. You want to place a block of redstone and directly above it, place your piston so it activates like so. Then above your piston, guys, you want to place one block of coal and one block coming out forward. On the back here, you want to place one block like that and place a spruce fence gate above it open the gate and destroy the block underneath. So this is going to be the bit where the cameraman used to hold the camera to move it around and all that kind of stuff and also put in the film. Then we're going to place two grindstones on top facing forward like that. And if you guys remember these old cameras, basically what would happen is the film would be wrapped around like these grindstones here and would slowly roll out through the camera. This is really old school guys, but it looks so good. 
Then we're going to place stone buttons on either side just for that extra bit of detail. And finally, the wither skeleton skull on the front as if that is the camera lens. And check that out, guys. This is our old school cinema camera design. But now we need a home theater to go along with it. So here is phase two of the build. What you guys are going to need is some black wool because, you know, we're going to match the sign of kind of the dark theme of the camera. We're also going to use some white concrete powder as well as some top snow. You want to use this top snow, not the snow block. So we're going to use the top snow there, guys. We're also going to need some red carpet. Ooh la la, I wonder what that's for. Uh, you want some grey concrete, some black concrete. We'll need the brand new loom block. Look at me go, guys. I think I've used pretty much every new block in this video. We're going to need some item frames. And I think, yeah, I think that is everything we need. Now, what you guys want to do is, first off, fill the area around your camera with black wool. The floor of our cinema is going to be a black wool. Because you know what? If you've got a floor that is white, what kind of cinema has a white floor? <laughs> then you guys are going to want to build this forward like so. So we've got a bit more room to work with. Of course, you guys can make your cinema as big as you like of course we have we are a little bit restricted in today's video because we are on a time limit here guys but we're going to fill the front in here then once you guys have done that you want to place the couch directly in front of our camera here guys by putting white concrete powder like this and going one two out like that and we'll go one two out like that then we'll build either side around kind of building like a nice wide couch and then you want to use the top snow here and you want to go one two three one two three one two three and this makes a really cool modern sleek looking couch like that and because it's only one block high the camera can still project its video over the top of it which i think is really really cool then on either side here guys what we're going to do is place the gray concrete and you want to go one two three four blocks high one, oh, one, two, three, four blocks high. Then you want to grab your black concrete and fill in the screen, leaving the bottom row empty. So we'll go ahead and fill all of that in. Then we're going to place the two loom blocks here on either side. And these look really cool because they look like they're actually stereo system speakers, which I think is awesome. But to really add to that and really, you know, give it a little bit of pizzazz, we're going to use some spruce wood stairs. And we're going to put these in under here, kind of making like a shelving that is underneath the, uh, the screen as well. And we'll even put some item frames here and put some black wool, tilt them to the side and check this out guys does this design not look awesome to you we have an old school cinema camera we have this modern sleek looking couch we've got a uh, cinema setup here that has these surround sound speakers and these little speaker grills as well as a nice little shelf guys all around this whole design as a package looks great and if I was you guys, I would make this design even bigger, make the screen bigger, and turn this into a full home cinema. But obviously, we don't have time to do that today. And of course, guys, the red carpet just looks really nice to put in front of your couch. But that is build number four, guys. Moving on to the final build of today, build number five. All right, so our fifth and final design for today is for all you modern design and animal lovers. It is this great birdhouse design. Now, for this, guys, we're going to use some clay. We're going to use some polished uh, dye rote. So we'll grab ourselves some of that. Then we're also going to use just some regular old dye rote slabs. We'll also need some andesite. We're going to use some polished andesite, andesite stairs. Look at this, guys. We're using all types of fancy rocks in this build. Then we're going to use some iron bars. We'll need some birch trap. Uh, we'll need some birch fences and some birch fence gates, guys. And finally, to top it all off, we are going to need scaffolding and the birds to live in our birdhouse. So we'll grab those as well. All right, guys, so we've got everything we need to build this. Let's start off by building the wall, which the design is going to come off. So this does need to hang off the side of a wall. It can hang off a roof, but personally, I think it looks much better on a wall. So we're going to go one, two, three... Uh, we're going to go six long. I think it needs to be at least six wide. Then we're going to build this wall up. Now, this needs to be done in quite a high ceiling building because it is a really big bird cage design. But I reckon you guys can shrink it if you would like. All right, guys, there we go. We've got our makeshift wall going on. What you want to do is grab your iron bars and choose a spot where you want the bird cage to be hanging from. So I reckon maybe about... We'll go from here, guys. And we'll build that out like that. Then you want to break this block and place a polished andesite says facing towards it like so. So it looks something like that. Once you guys have done that, you want to place uh, one iron bars coming down here, one birch fence here. Then you'll need to place a block coming out here in order to place a birch fence gate there. You can then destroy those blocks. Then you want to place a birch fence coming off the side here. You want to place one iron bars like so, and then one more birch fence. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and place a die road slab one block underneath this fence here and uh, one block underneath this fence as well. So it looks something like that. Once you guys have done that, you want to place a scaffolding block on 
top of each of those dive rope slabs. And as you guys can see, it really does require you to have a high ceiling. I'm actually going to get rid of that because my OCD is killing me, guys. But it requires you to have a high ceiling. And the higher the ceiling, the better. Because you can imagine, you can actually build more than two of these. You can build like three, build four, build five. It's up to you guys. And that is your birdhouse design. All it needs now is the parrots or birds, guys. So we're going to just grab some seeds here. Chuck a bird in here. We'll go ahead and tame him. So he's sitting down. Place another bird here. Tame them. And there you guys go. Wow, I forgot to make them sit. You sit as well. No, no. There we go. So we've got a few more parrot friends that I had originally attended. But as you guys can see, this looks really great. You can have uh, your parrot sitting in each of these little spots here in your bird house. Looks great in modern designs and looks great if you love animals. But there you guys have it. Those are our five new builds that... Mr. Parrot, I'm trying to do my outro. Can you not interrupt, please? Please, Mr. He's so cute, guys. I just can't get mad at him. But guys, hope you enjoyed today's video using the brand new blocks in the new update to build these awesome things. Guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more awesome stuff like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, see you your mouth.